Hey guys, it's Jake Jason with ActiveLifestyleInfo.com. Uh, today, uh, doing a short video on uh, making your golf cart street legal. Um, we've written a very extensive article on this. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description, but and it's going to have links to all the products that we discuss and stuff like that. Even links to different states and what's required in different states. Um, one of the biggest things that you need to know when you're thinking about making your golf cart also known as a low speed vehicle lsv or a neighborhood electric vehicle in ev um, any any of these vehicles when you're thinking about doing this process is uh, some states the states are the ones that regulate it some states uh, defer to the county some counties defer to the cities within the county and some cities and counties defer to neighborhoods areas within the city limits um, different communities so you really have to do some research, but we do have a link to each state to kind of get you started in that state. And a lot of the a lot of the links that we provide will tell you right at the beginning that that you know that they defer to the city or the county or uh, whatever uh, area that you live in. Uh, for example, where I live, I'm in a community that ha it's a and the the HOA is the one that requires specific things: windshield, turn signals, daytime running lights, horn, brake lights. Uh, we don't have to have a seat belt, um, but we do have to have insurance. So it's it's really, uh, you have to do your own research, even though we provide a link to each state to figure out what's required in your area to be in your neighborhood or on the road or to be able to cross a road. Do you need a license plate, title the vehicle? All those things you're going to have to research. But the article has tons of good information, tons of products with links on uh, you know, good products if you need to do certain things. Um, we've done several vehicles, so we have some experience with uh, the quality of different products. So I think you'll find a lot of good uh, information there. This video, we'll just briefly talk about a few things though. Um, the first thing is, is lights. Almost everywhere you go, you're gonna be required to have lights. We're required to have lights. Um, this cart has the, uh, the factory light kit and it has daytime running lights. It's hard to see that bottom row is uh, LEDs that stay on anytime the key's on, um, has uh, turn signals, flashers, also known as hazard lights, brake lights, a horn, uh, it's got a push-pull switch on the dash, and then uh, your turn signal switch is here, um, you know, different ones that you'll see us talk about in the article, uh, you know, it talks about um, different qualities, different features, some of them, these things have built-in colored LED lights that you can adjust with your phone, all kinds of stuff. But, um, you know, again, you'll need to research exactly what's required of your light kit. But almost every municipality requires a light kit of some form or fashion. Uh, next thing is seat belts. Again, we're not required yet to have seat belts, but uh, most places are going to require seat belts. If you've got a cart with rear seats, you're going to have to have a seat belt in each position. That's how most of the laws are written. So um, on a cart like this, we would only need them in the front and we would put a bar across right below that uh, seat back cushion. And then uh, most golf cart places sell a bracket that attaches to the two bolts that hold the uh, bag attachment under there to hold the bar in place and then the seat belts attached to the bar. But we've got tons of links to different seat belt options in the article. So make sure you go to the article and check all that out. Um, next thing is, is speed of the cart. Most places, they're gonna identify your cart as a, as a low speed vehicle if you wanna use it on the street. Uh, something important to keep in mind even when you just approach uh, you know, your municipality, you talk to them about getting your low speed vehicle certified to, to use it on the street because by definition, a golf cart cannot be used on the street because it's meant just for the golf course and it typically runs somewhere between 12 and 18 miles an hour. To use a golf cart or low speed vehicle on the road, it's gonna need to generally in most places need to be able to run between 20 and 25 miles an hour. Some places it's up to 30, but again, in the article, we've got a section on motors and controllers and we, you know, we talk about what you'd want to do with different brands of golf carts to get your cart into that speed range that you need to, um, to, you know, get up to that speed. Fortunately, with these new onwards, um, they come with a top speed of about 21 miles an hour. So we're in the range that we're, you know, we'd be able to get this certified without upgrading the motor or the controller. But again, you can do gears, motors, controllers, 
few other options and we discussed that in the article. Uh, next thing that you're gonna wanna think about, and this varies again from place to place, are rear view mirrors and reflectors. Now, most of the time, keep in mind, when you buy a rear seat kit, it's gonna come with a lot of reflective tape on it, and that's to kind of try to help meet this guideline. These onwards come with one reflective uh, strip right above the tire here on both sides. That's gonna meet your front requirement in most areas. If we were gonna certify this, we would likely need to put a reflective strip somewhere over that back tire so that if a car's approaching from this side, they can see the vehicle even if they can't see your lights. Uh, rear view mirrors, almost everywhere required. This cart we've equipped with the side mirrors. Some places require the side mirrors, some places require a five panel or a convex rear view mirror that would be mounted where that overhead console is. Some places require both of those. So you'd have two side mirrors and the overhead mirror. But again, you need to check your area. One thing to keep in mind too, that's a nice feature. A lot of these rear view mirrors, side mirrors like this now, they actually have an arrow like a car does of LED lights in here. They hook into your turn signals on your light kit. And when you hit your blinker, it actually lights up in here on both sides, a little light at the bottom and then an arrow in the glass here so that people from behind you have even can see it even more. So, and it catches your eye if you forget to leave the blinkers on. So that's a, a real nice feature. And again, there's a link in the description on uh, taking a look at that. Next thing is a windshield. Windshield, most people are gonna have one even if they're not trying to get street legal. Uh, there's various level of impact resistance what happens to this windshield when it gets in an accident, a golf ball hits it, anything like that, something you have to keep in mind. You're gonna run into municipalities that not only require a windshield, um, but they also are gonna require that windshield to be DOT certified, either AS4 or AS5. We've got links in the description that kind of talk about that, show you where on the windshield to look for that and uh, where you can purchase those windshields with that rating. Some places only need to be impact modified like this. Some have to be a one piece that you can't fold down. Some places allow it to fold down like this, but, uh, and you also have clear and tinted. Some places want you only have a clear or only up to a certain tint level. So, um, but um, either way, check that AS4, AS5. If you need that, the windshield's gonna cost you about twice as much, but it can stand up uh, doesn't shatter into your face if you were to get into an accident or, or anything like that. So, and then one more thing on the windshield uh, perspective, some places require you to have a windshield wiper. You can buy these either motorized or mechanical. Typically people just get them mechanical because you're really not gonna use them that much. And if you buy one and you do it yourself, we've got a link in the description, you're typically gonna mount, the, uh, put a hole either here or here and there's special bits made to go through this polycarbonate. And then you're gonna have a windshield wiper that lays on the outside, of course, and there's just gonna be a handle on the inside. That's the easiest way to do that. Um, it's somewhat functional and it's uh, much cheaper than the motorized version, but they do make both types and they both will, will serve the purpose of getting you certified for street legal and uh, you can actually use them to, to clear the windshield if you're driving in the rain. Next thing we're gonna discuss is the tires. Um, a lot of people don't think about it because a golf cart or a low speed vehicle is so slow, but there are many municipalities now that are requiring the tires to be DOT approved, which means they've gone through a process of actually being inspected by the Department of Transportation so that they meet certain guidelines. Now, you can see on this tire, hopefully, that it is marked DOT right there. So this tire would be, and this is also a radial, which is a fairly new thing into the golf cart industry. That means that this tire has been inspected by DOT and it meets certain standards. Even if you're not looking to be street legal, you might want to consider DOT approved tires when you get ready to buy tires, just because they have a tendency to be more true, longer lasting. A radial is a great tire because that's just like a car tire, just smaller for a golf cart. But um, if, you're, if your municipality requires a DOT street legal tire, we have links to that in the in the description or in the article. And, um, you know, a lot of times because golf cart tires are not mountable on a regular car 
uh, tire machine, a lot of times when you're gonna upgrade, especially if you just have stock steel wheels, you're better off just to go with an, a new aluminum wheel and a DOT approved tire. You can get them off-road tires, all-terrain tires, or street tires now that are DOT approved. So uh, we've in the article, we've got links to places that you can buy, you know, a combo that comes with the wheel and the tire, even a lift kit if you wanted to. But um, the descriptions are, are in the article for all that stuff. Um, last thing is, is uh, kind of just like some general small things that you might need. Some areas require you to have a license plate. And if it does require you to have a license plate, it's likely going to require that you have a license plate bracket with an LED light in it. Uh, we don't have to have that here, but it would mount on the back here anywhere you want. And it would just typically you just wire into your light kit, find a hot and a ground that are that's hot when your key is on and wire that uh, license plate bracket into that. So that anytime your key's on, there's a little light above your license plate. They make them with LED lights and the old uh, you know, old incandescent style bulbs. Um, I would definitely go with an LED in this day and time. Burns so much less power and, and has a nice sleek look when it's on. It's a cleaner light. So uh, anyway, there's descriptions or there's uh, links to that in the article. And another thing that you might be required to have is a slow moving vehicle triangle. A lot of areas require that. That would be a reflective triangle. I guess they're about 18 inches tall. Typically you would mount it right over that um, engine access plate. Or you could mount it if you have a rear seat under the rear seat as well. But, um, you know, it's going to be a reflective orange and red triangle that's very easy to see. You probably have seen them on the backs of tractors or, or trailers, any kind of farm equipment, anything like that. They're required to use those as well. So uh, check those out if you need one of those. Last thing, this is not required, but I just think it's a neat new um, gadget, I guess you call it accessory for a golf cart, is now you can buy a backup camera, just like in your car. It comes with suction cups to stick on your windshield, or you some pe people are mounting them right in the dash. But either way, it's got a camera on the back, and uh, whenever you want to use it, you just flip it on, look at the display. You can see what's right behind you. It's a nice safety feature, neat gadget. You know, it's just one of those things that... Uh, if you're going all out on the uh, street legal process or just, just you know, making your cart uh, fun, it's a neat thing to add. So anyway, I know we covered a lot. I'm just trying to briefly uh, introduce some of the things to you, but the article is very extensive. It's going to have a lot more information on everything I've just covered. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you head over to activelifestyleinfo.com. Check out the golf cart section to read this complete article on making your golf cart street legal. Uh, that includes links to everything we've talked about. Thank you so much. Have a great day.